Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're doing an Android 101 post on how to transfer files between your computer and your Android device. Okay, so you're going to plug in your device by the USB cable that came with it to your computer. And when you do that, a notification is going to come up on the top of the device. So we're going to pull that down. And the one that we want to select is this USB connected. Select that and it should give you something similar to this. And we're going to say turn on USB storage. And wait for it to do that. Okay, and then what's going to happen is it's going to pop up as a drive on your computer. Now, if you're using a Mac like I am here or using a PC, it's both going to be very similar. A Mac is just going to come up as a no name drive right here. You just double click it and now you can see everything that is inside uh, your phone. Uh, if you had a PC, you would just click on my computer and then you'll see the new removable disk, quote unquote, and you'll click on that and the same thing will happen. Now to transfer files from it, you simply select one of them and hit copy or control C and then put it somewhere. So here on the desktop, we're gonna go paste. wait for that to transfer and once it does you'll see now I have that right here on my computer same thing would have worked with Windows save it to the desktop etc now if you want to put something on the phone itself you're going to basically do the opposite click whatever the file is we're going to copy it then we're gonna to go to our removable disk if you're in Windows or no name if you're using a Mac and then anywhere in here you're going to hit paste. And wait for that to transfer. Now once that's done transferring, it's gonna be on your SD card or your internal storage of your phone. And uh, that's it. After you have the file on your phone, you can simply just hit Turn off USB storage and unplug the device. Wait for it to prepare the storage or SD card. And there you go. Now let's say if you did that with a song, you can now go into your music player, whichever one you're using, the stock one on Android is this one. Uh, and then it'll just automatically show up within here. Same thing for videos, pictures, etc. So it's that simple.